It's your boy Josh Ruivo, he's back with another banger. So guys, I'm going to be talking about my top winter slash autumn essentials. I think it's getting to that time now where we've done with summer, no more hot days are coming, it's time to wrap up warm. I don't know about you guys, but I'm noticing that it's getting very chilly, very nipply outside. Um, so now it's time to crack that heating up, get some warm clothes on. Before we get into anything guys, make sure you have subscribed to my channel. If you're not, I would appreciate the support. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up, no thumbs down, because I can say. And guys, make sure you check out my Instagram, all my social media, all that kind of thing. Now that we've got all the plug-in out of the way, let's get straight to the video for my first winter essential, which is the Sherling jacket. In my hands here, I've got my beloved Sherling jacket, which I absolutely love and adore. It can be real Sherling, faux Sherling, whatever, whatever you prefer. So this is actually from All Saints. Um, really thick, heavy, sturdy, and now my wife's watching me and she makes me very nervous when she watches me when I'm doing YouTube things. I went for like a bigger size, so like an oversized look for the Sherlin jacket. Um, it's real Sherlin, so it's super, super, super warm. The reason I love it as well is because like you don't have to layer up, you can literally just whack a t-shirt on and you put this on and you're warm enough. If you were to feel the weight of this, like it's definitely like 10 kg or something mate. But I think they go with anything, you can wear tailored trousers with it, skinny jeans, whatever you want. Numero uno is the shedding jacket. So the next item on my winter essentials list, a pair of sturdy boots. Now here I've got my Yeezy season three military boots now these bad boys are sturdy they're gonna get through winter in these for sure if it's snowing raining whatever the season three military boot is the best silhouette i know it's the one that's most sought after for most people and i actually got these second hand off depop for a really really good price nothing really wrong with them one a couple of times i would definitely encourage you to go out there and get some form of sturdy boot obviously i'm not saying go out and buy a pair of yeezy season three what i am saying is you need some protective footwear. But what I've got here as well is my Doc Martens. So here I've got um, a pair of Doc Martens. So again, this is another good alternative. These are sturdy, these are waterproof. You can trust the brand. I got them for like, I wanna say like 70 quid in the sale or something like, they were a really, really good price. And again, khaki green is a good, good winter color. So that's number one and two in our winter essentials. Now onto three. Now the third item I'd like to include in this winter essentials video is some nice heavy knitwear. Now, this knitwear here, I've just got two examples, I've got plenty of other knitwear, but these are two of my recent pickups. So I like to wear like heavy, oversized, hangy kind of knitwear. Be good for layering up. So I've got here a nice gray one. Good color again, just for winter. So you can imagine like this, underneath the shirling, or underneath a leather jacket or something. Again, it is very, very big and hangy, but this is like thick very girthy again with autumn winter you want like those autumn winter tones you don't want too bright colors in winter like you don't see people popping about in oranges reds blues and etc so i've got this color as well like a nice cream both from uh, all saints if you are interested in these items i'll be sure to leave the links in the description below both of these like same style just different colors really thick heavy and um, i've got other knitwear hoodies etc but I think some smarter knitwear is definitely essential for autumn winter. So now we're gonna continue with some more outerwear for our fourth winter essential, and that is just a simple big puffer jacket. It's from ASOS. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think ASOS are absolutely banging for like big coats and stuff like that, because the prices that they, they sell them at is really reasonable. You can go to like North Face and things like that, get a big black puffer for like 150 on upwards. Um, but you could go to ASOS and get it for like 40, 50, 60 quid, depending if you've got student discount and stuff. So I would highly recommend ASOS. I got this coat, another really long, big black puffer one last winter, and they were amazing. Like they're so warm, they last, they're sturdy again, like you're getting good value for money. So this is mine here, get rid of the hood. It's even got a hood on this one, which I quite like as well. Keep me, uh, keep me sweet, nice and warm and dry. That I go for black, like I do, I'm in the market now for, you know, a brighter colored one, even though I just this brighter colors. But I also think like sometimes it's nice to have some of that popping. Um, so I'm in the market, probably another one. I got a mustard one last year, but the missus, she didn't like it. So uh, that had to go back. It might be like 30, 40 pounds, I'm not sure, but absolutely love this. Absolutely love it. I cannot wait to whack it back on. It's so snuggly and warm, waterproof, you name it. It does it, you know what I'm saying, see? Next on my list are some old school vans. You're probably surprised actually that this is on the list of an autumn winter essentials fashion video, 
But the reason I put these on is because one, they are cheap, two, they are fashionable, and three, they are beaters. You can absolutely wear the crap out of these and they still look good. Um, they still give that effect with your outfits that you're looking for. They still, for me, are as good as when I first bought them. Might need a new pair of Vans, hint, hint. So these are a good, sturdy option for footwear during winter and autumn. Next on my list, guys, is an autumn winter classic. Now, it is a smart, formal, long coat. Like, they always say, oh, I'll get a warm coat and it'd be like a nice, you know, wool, long coat. But they're not that warm, I'm not gonna lie. But that comes with all of them and the reason you get them is because they're really good for layering. So, this with a hoodie underneath it, looks sick um a hoodie put a pair like some of that knitwear you could put underneath it and then it's warm um and they look really smart like i wear this mostly over winter with like some crop trousers and then a pair of kicks crop trousers and like some cdg converse looks dapper you know you can't go wrong so this is definitely my essentials layer it up you'll be warm enough and you'll look proper smart right moving on swiftly guys so next on my list is Again, another layering piece for that autumn and winter look, and that is a nice flannel. A nice thick kind of check shirt, whatever. But yeah, a nice thick flannel is nice for layering. So say if you've got this nice white tee underneath it, then you can put like a leather jacket on, especially for like the milder autumn temperatures. So you're talking end of September, start of October, those kinds of months during the autumn season. This white t-shirt, denim jacket, leather jacket, suede jacket, whatever. Um, really good layering piece, it's long sleeve as well, keep those arms nice and brushed in. Especially if you're going for like a like, casual skater look, this with a pair of Vans, denim jacket, white t-shirt, black jeans, bit of rips in it, perfect autumn outfit. So that is another autumn winter essential from Joshua Weaver. Next on my list um, are some trousers slash jeans. Now, for your lower, lower part of your body, I find that in winter, the warmer jeans and trousers are the looser ones. So when you're wearing skinnier jeans, like you feel the cold like quite quickly and a lot of the skinnier jeans are thinner, they've got elastic in them, um, so they actually don't keep you that warm. So you want thicker, heavier denim and a looser fit, which actually keeps the heat in a bit more. So, for example, I've got here my dad jeans. So you can whack on a pair of dad jeans. These are from Urban Outfitters. Nice and loose. I mean, they're not overly loose, but they're a good loose fit. They're heavy and they're sturdy. There's nothing worse. Now, comment below if you've experienced this. When you've got a skinny pair of jeans on, you go outside, it starts absolutely bombing it down in rain. And then your, your jeans are like sticking to you. And like you almost you feel itchy and like you're gonna catch pneumonia or something from your flipping jeans. Like it is awful. It's so uncomfortable, especially if you go into like uni or work and then you have to bounce about in those wet jeans that are sticking to you. Nothing worse, guys. So get some like loose jeans, heavy denim, or some like looser trousers. But again, make sure that they're a good sturdy pair of trousers. My last winter essential is gonna be my wife. Come back and get yourself a wife. Now she'll cook for you, she'll keep you warm. <laughs>
Right guys, so that is my autumn winter essentials video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed piecing it together and deciding what I thought were the essential pieces for this season. Now, if you have any suggestions on what you think could be, including this winter essentials video, please drop it in the comments below and I'll make sure to check it out. Just want to remind you all as well to not forget about the Supreme giveaway. So make sure you subscribe, hit that little button below, subscribe, turn that little bell thingy majiggy on so that you can, you know, get that ting every time so you know every time I post a video you ain't gonna miss out on moi every week. I've been Josh Ruivo, you've been my audience. Make sure you have a blessed week and I'll be with you next week guys. Peace out.